Hi, question number nine. The points A, B, and C have position vectors relative to the origin O, given by vector O is equal to 1 plus 2J plus 3K, vector OB is equal to 4J plus K, and vector OC 2I plus 5J minus K. A fourth point D is such that the quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. For the first part, find the position vector of D and verify that the parallelogram is a rhombus. And for the second part, the plane P is parallel to OA and the line BC lies in the plane P. Find the equation of P, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to D. Now, the data that we have is this. OA is equal to that, OB is equal to this, OC, and these are the vectors. We need to find D, and it is in such a way I've put an illustration here to show you how it's going to look like roughly. So we can find vector AB. What is vector AB? Vector AB is vector AO plus OB. And what is AO? It's going to be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, plus OB, OB 0, 4, 1. You add that vector, those two vectors, you're going to get minus 1, 2, and uh, minus 2. So that's the vector AB. Now, um, we can say that DC is equal to AB because it's a rhombus, all right, and it's parallel as well. So if we say that DC is equal to AB, therefore, what is DC? DC is going to be DO plus OC. In that way, we can find the vector OD. So DC um, basically is um, equal to minus 1, 2, minus 2. Therefore, I can say minus 1, 2, minus 2, all right, DC is equal to DO plus OC. And OC has been given as 2, 5, minus 1. In other words, we're saying that DO is equal to minus 1, 2, minus 2. And this one goes on the other side, it becomes minus. All right, so here we are. Minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3. 2 minus 5 is minus 3. Minus 2 minus minus 1 is minus 1. Now that's the vector DO. So if this is DO, then OD is going to be the opposite of that one. Okay, so that's going to be 3, 3, 1. Therefore, as required by the question, we need to find the vector OD. Vector OD is 3i plus 3j plus k. Here we are for the first part. Again, in the first part, we need to verify that this is a rhombus. We're going to find the length of AB. So what is the length of AB? We can prove that. We can prove that that length is going to be equal to this length. So if we can do that, that's part of the question answered. Therefore, what is AB? Now, we know that AB is minus 1, 2, 2. So minus 1 to the square plus 1 to the square plus minus 2 to the square. That's going to give you the square root of 4, 4 plus, sorry, uh, 2, 2. So, 2. 2, 2 is 4, 4 plus 4, 8, 9. So, 3 units. Also, we want to find DC. Now, we did say that DC... No, let's find BC. So, what is BC? BC is BO plus OC. So, I'm going to find BC first. Which is BO plus OC. And what is BO? 0, minus 4, minus 1, plus OC, 2, 5, minus 1. So, 0 plus 2 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2. Now, BC is going to be the square root, I mean the length of BC, the square root of 2 to the square, 1 to the square, so 2 square plus 1 square, plus minus 2 squared, and that's going to give you the root of 9 and also the root of 3. What we realize is that BC, so this length here, is equal to that length. Logically speaking, those two can be equal as well. So, we've said that uh, AB is equal to BC. Therefore, AB is equal to BC. Now, from here, what do we do? We can draw a diagonal here, and we can draw another one here. If we dot product, that's going to have to be 90 degrees to make it a rhombus. So I'm going to find vector AC, which has already been found earlier on. Did we? Um, AC, AC, somewhere. Nope. So let's find the vector AC. All right, so how are we going to do this? The vector AC 
is equal to the vector AO plus OC. And what is AO? Again, we're going to say minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 plus OC. OC is 2, 5, minus 1. So we got 1, we got 3, we got minus 4. So this is AC. Now we can find the vector BD. Okay, so BD is going to be equal to BO plus OC. And what is BO? 0 minus 4 minus 1 plus OC. And OC is 2, 5 minus 1. Therefore, 2, 1, minus 2. Is that so? So, um, BD. Um, sorry, I made a mistake here. Um, no, that's not good. So let's say BD is equal to BO plus OD, not OC. That, that, that is where the mistake was. So B, BO, so this is 0, minus 4, minus 1, plus um, OD. We found OD. Uh, OD was um, 3, 3, 1. So 3, 3, 1. So if we add these two vectors, we're going to get 3, 1, minus 1, 0. So that's going to give us then, uh, yeah, so this is the vector, BD. So now what are we going to do? We, we're going to dot product these two vectors. If we dot product and it is equal to 0, then this is 90 degrees. It makes it a rhombus. So we're going to say then, the vector we found earlier on was AC. So AC dot product with BD. And if we do that... Let's try and check it out. So AC is 1, 3, minus 4. 1 and 3 minus 4 times um, BD. 3 minus 1, 0. So we dot product. And uh, what are we going to get? 3. Sorry. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Minus 4 times 0 is 0. Okay, so this is minus 3 because minus 1 times 3. So all of that's going to be equal to zero. See, so this is uh, okay. Therefore, we're good to say that uh, since A um, B is equal to B C, and that A C dot product with um, B D is equal to zero. Therefore, A B C D is a rhombus. So that's the first part of the question. Second part of the question, we are told that the plane P is parallel to the line. Um, the question plane P is parallel to the plane P is parallel to line OE and contains the line BC. Okay, parallel to the line OE and contains BC. Okay, what is OE? In the question, O is 1, 2, 3. Uh, what is BC? Now we found that BC was um, 2, 1, minus 2. So we need to find the vector BC. Also we know that the point B is given the question as 0, 4, 1. Now, how are we going to do this? To find the equation of the plane, we're going to have to do the determinant of matrix. So I've got I, J, K. 1, 2, 3. 2 minus 1 minus 2. So then we got equal to first matrix minus the second matrix. Okay, plus the third matrix determinant. Alright, so we've got 2, 3 minus 1 minus 2. 2, 3 minus 1 minus 2. I've got 1, 3, 2, minus 2, 1, 3, 2, minus 2. Then I've got um, 1, 3, 2, minus 2. I've got 1, 2, 2, minus 1. 1, 2, 2, minus 1. So let's uh, do the multiplication. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. 3 times minus 1 is minus um, 3. Minus 4, minus 3. Minus 4. Okay, hold on a second. Minus 3. Um, what is this thing? Um, 
2, 1 minus 2, 2, oh, here we are. So here we are, 2, 1 minus 2, this and that, this is going to be then 1, 2, plus 1, okay, sorry. So 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. So minus 7x, then I've got minus here. Minus, minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, 3 times 2 is 6, minus, minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8, minus minus 8 is plus 8, so plus 8y. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 1 minus 2 is 3, so I've got minus 3, minus 3z, three, and all of that's going to be equal to d. Now we need to find d. Because there was a point here, we can substitute the point b into the, into the equation of the plane. So that's going to be minus 7 times 0, then I've got 4, 1. So plus 8 times 4 minus 3 times 1. That's going to be 32, 0 plus 32 minus 3, which is then 29. So therefore, the equation of the plane can be given as 7x plus 8y minus 3z is equal to 29. Okay, so this is question number 9 taken from June 2016, Advanced Level, Advanced Level Maths, HSC Paper 3. All right.